This morning, Buffalo, New York, really, after police say a gunman went on a racist grocery store rampage, shooting 13 people, killing 10. We are hurting and we are seething right now as a community. Authorities say all but two of the victims were African American. This was pure evil. It was straight up racially motivated hate crime. The aftermath, unvarnished tragedy. First responders seen here next to an apparently lifeless body. I saw a lot of people who were um, in distress. They didn't know if their loved ones were uh, okay. Police say the attack began around 2.30 p.m. Saturday with the suspect opening fire in the parking lot of a Topps Friendly Markets. Then moving inside the store where a security guard fought back. That former Buffalo police officer being called a hero. Fired multiple shots, struck the suspect, but because he had heavily armed, uh, armored plating on, uh, that bullet had no round. The suspect engaged our retired officer, and he was ultimately uh, shot and deceased at the scene. Police say the attacker finally surrendered after putting a gun to his neck and then being persuaded by officers to drop it. Yes, sir. I understand my charges. Prosecutors say 18-year-old Peyton Gendron of Conklin, New York, is the man responsible, charged with one count of murder in the first degree. Authorities say he traveled hours to Buffalo armed with an assault weapon. Three senior law enforcement sources tell NBC News it appears the N-word was etched into one of multiple weapons recovered. Gendron allegedly wrote a manifesto inspired by white supremacist ideology. Twitch said the rampage was briefly live-streamed on its platform before the feed was removed. The tragedy marks the fourth mass shooting at a U.S. grocery store since March 2021, and it's the second rampage to shake New York in just over a month. Yeah, I'm angry. I've seen violence from guns on the Brooklyn subway, and now in the streets of Buffalo. It has to stop. Tops Friendly Market sharing a statement saying in part, we are shocked and deeply saddened by this senseless act of violence and our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. Yet another American community now grappling with the unconscionable. We can't let an evil person divide this community and an evil person divide our country. A senior law enforcement official tells NBC News authorities are looking at that alleged manifesto filled with racist and anti-Semitic tropes. That potential disturbing manifesto also claims Gendron was radicalized on an extremist forum because he was bored during the start of the pandemic, just part of the investigation into an allegedly heinous crime. Willie. At once tragic and infuriating. Jesse Kirch in Buffalo for us this morning. Jesse, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.